Hey everybody, welcome to Picker's TV. Ooh, what's this? Uh, it's a chemistry set uh, kickback. Ooh, looks yummy. Can I eat it? No. Oh, come on. No, please. I'm gonna spray again. Ooh. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> anyway, here's the chemistry set. It's made by Gilbert's, 1968. Yeah, yeah, I think it's like 68, I might believe. It's a chemistry experiment lab. We have kids playing playing with it a lot of test tubes and stuff safety tested gilbert hall science which is actually kind of ironic you'll see in a little bit it says today's adventure in science will create tomorrow's america <laughs> it's come pictures of like power plants scientists jets and spaceships space stations submarines and more scientists it says another gilbert career building science set and here's where you close it there's actually a couple parts to this this holds it all together it has four parts, they fold the end, and just close it to keep it safe. <sighs> anyway, anyway, like you see here, here's the kids playing with the set. Here actually is a chemistry set, comes with different chemicals, different test tubes, diff diff different things to help you experiment, and comes came with a couple of manuals back then. And they actually designed this to, to, help, to help kids get interested in science. Sorry. <clears throat> Yes, to help kids get interested in science and maybe one day become future, as I say, like future scientists and stuff. So anyway, we're going to take a look inside now, open it. i to be a little careful because I don't want anything to fall out. Okay, go this side first. This is the first, this is the first set of chemicals. Now we're going to open this side. Let's see if I can get this all the way open. I had trouble with this in the past. Looks like yeah, mine doesn't want to open all the way here, but I can just I guess I could just hold it like this for a little bit while I'll show you these. Here's all the other chemicals right here. Bunch of ones like aluminum sulfide, aluminum chloride, borax, magnesium, and sulfite, calcium, and logwood, and a bunch of other ones. All of them different colors. It's nickel, and it comes two sides and with a bunch of different ones. You know the ironic part is that I was saying before was that uh, a lot of these chemicals are actually poisonous, and when we put them together, can, they can create poison or a bunch of other harmful things. So yeah, this is actually one of the most dangerous toys you could ever make for a kid. <laughs> you know, they had a bunch of different ones. They had like different chemicals, and even one that had like uh, uranium in it. Was yeah, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, so, so here's the chemicals, and let's take a look at this side here. This side opens up here. Let's see if I can get it open just a little bit more to get it out. Go put the camera down for a second. Hey, welcome to Practical Jokers Inside Jokes. I'm Casey Jokes, and you're lucky. You're gonna watch the Practical Jokers episode with these awesome factoids that pop onto your screen. In addition, honor the crew members and play some games with fans. Now, in this episode, okay, I got it open. And here it is, just inside of that here. That's places where they cool cap stuff, like some beakers, test tubes, like funnels, different things, holders. Those may mixtures. Here's the other side here. Safety tested. Yeah, right. Most experiments for fun. Oh, most experiments for fun. Yeah, most experiments for fun. This would have like a catalog inside here that would told you how the experiments you can do with it. As well as some other things that would have been hanging right here. I don't know what to work because they got lost in time. Well, it's not too bad. It's just inside of a bad shape. It's just still a little dirty. I got it like in an outside flea market. Where the guy that I literally had just sitting on the floor. So I kind of picked it up real quick and I got a good price and I'm happy with it. And here's where it says they have made other kits. There's one for this atomic energy one I was talking about, glass blowing, hydroponics, multiple his plastics, mineralogy, and match magic. That's probably like the only safe one I see here, right here. <laughs> Climate detection, even electricity. And look, many others. And yeah, like uh, what is that? What were they thinking when they were like releasing like 
atomic energy or glass blowing. What the? Why are we kids being glass blowing? I don't even know. Play this by hydroponics. Yeah, because the first thing you want to do is have kids play with fire. <laughs> okay, that's it for that side. I'm going to close it up right there. Now let's get to this side here. There's a lot more stuff here, a lot more things to look at. Ta da! <laughs> anyway, there's a couple more beakers, test tubes, some actually some strips here. The like cops drink sing strips, so we test strips. I guess they just did different tests with those, but don't really know exactly how they work, but it's so cool. Here we have a little magnifying glass. Looks like it still works. I really know what this is. I guess it goes in a tube or something for like an experiment. Here's a little holder. You can put it on a tube and you can like attach it to something. It'll hold, hold, hold it on fire or hold like something with heat so you can like get the experiments and get some kind of reaction when you mix the chem with certain chemicals and things. Here's a cylinder where you can also mix in and get different reactions. Here's like a holder for I guess the mixer here. So you can like hold it over, like I said, the heat or fire and get stuff work, working with it. Here's a little funnel. Actually, this is the bigger funnel. You can put more chemicals in and mix it up. Or here's a smaller one. For like not so bigger, bigger mixtures. Just small experiments. And here's actually like a little drawer. You can like put other stuff, other tools. And you can just have them there and it won't have them like be falling around a little bit. A little better just because getting out this just put stuff in random places or slots off things and just throw it all in there. <laughs> so anyway, here's the other side here. Gilbert number 1207. Professional chemistry experiment lab. Here is a fun inventor. Comana coffee. This is my little magazine here, Gilbert. One magazine. I guess the only one that survived. I'm not gonna try to take it out because I don't want to. Have problems, it's coming out, or me risking breaking it, trying to put it back in again. Well, it says here this set contains Pyrex brand test tubes, which means that these were actually made by Pyrex brand like glasses. They made a bunch of different glasses for like medicine bottles, even like alcoholic bottles, and uh, a bunch of different glass works, especially like little baby bottles. I think I have one somewhere in my collection. I'll show you guys one day. And so that's pretty much it for that side. Pretty much it, there's everything there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, I really like says one of my nice pieces. I just love well, all the colors. I mean, look at that. I mean, just look at it. Just, just look at it. <laughs> so I love the colors and everything. It just looks old. It gives you that good old look. Colors really jump out at you when you first open it up. I mean, it's really cool. All these chemicals make a great display, even if you don't open it all the way. You even just like display it like this. I mean, that would look awesome if you put it in a cabinet, have all this stuff, like maybe like glued or somewhere in there to make, keep it that way, and just open it up like that. And just do like this, and it would make an awesome display. I mean, people will definitely look at it. People will, will get their attention. They'll be like, whoa, what the heck is this? Okay, and that's it right there. That's pretty much all it has to it. It's cool chemistry sets. A lot of kids had these back in the day. They're not really worth much today because like a lot of kids, like I said, had a lot of them and a lot of times these things ended up in closets and were just left there, never touched for a long time. And so a lot of these kits come up and people try to sell them, but they don't usually bring a lot of money. I actually got mine for like, we just won 10 bucks and I was surprised for how cheap it was with all this stuff in it. I don't know if the guy knew what he had in it or anything. But it's cool, I had a good deal, and I like it. It's a cool part of my collection, and I like to have it here. And so anyway, I think that's about it. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys really like this thing as much as I do. And I hope 
you guys might try to find one yourself and pick it up. I mean, it's just cool. Glad you won't regret your know, display like pretty much anywhere. You can like make a little chemistry or a little science area in your collection or just put it anywhere, make a little mad scientist or even like if you have like movie guys, put it like in the background and you can have them like next to Frankenstein going, oh. <laughs> so yeah, it makes a great display and pretty much can go anywhere and it's cool collectible and people like it and you will like it. Okay, so anyway, thanks you guys for watching. And remember to keep coming back. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of other reviews, including on video games with this over here, and we're doing Atari 2600, which I will, which I will post actually today. I'm gonna to post a video game today about it, and you guys will, will like it. You don't want to miss it. So thank you all for watching, and we are out.